I'm gonna die. Oh, guys! Under the water. Dude, how the f does he win there. this? There's no f way. Uh, don't die! No, he quit me! Punished! So I've done a lot of Nuzlocke reviews on YouTube in the past couple years, being the professional Nuzlocker that I am with over 4,000 hours of ex Thanks for all the great content. <sighs> that was perfect, and you fu- Being the professional Nuzlocker that I am with over 4,000 hours of experience, I always think that you guys appreciated my feedback. And you guys were sending me uh, this run from someone called Peanut Butter Gamer that I should review, who did a Nuzlocke of Alpha Sapphire. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never seen any of his content, but the run looked intriguing and you guys seemed interested in it. The problem is that there's 13 hours of the footage of this on YouTube, but me and my editors have took the liberty of cutting that down to the most important moments, and I am here to review them today. As always, this isn't meant to be a roast of the person playing or an incentive for you guys to on them. It's just an educational resource for you to get better at your Nuzlocke as we look at their Nuzlocke as a learning example. So let's dive into it. Hello everybody, I am Peanut Butter Gamer, and welcome to my very first Nuzlocke challenge here. We are playing Alpha Sapphire. Uh, this is, again, my very first Nuzlocke, but I kind of skipped out on a bunch of different versions. Sapphire, Ruby, I can't even remember the names. This is definitely a generation that I didn't play. All right, so we got no prior Nuzlocke experience and no prior experience playing this game. So I think this should be a fun one. As, uh, as I said, um, these are educational resources for you, even especially if you're like, these videos should be perfect for you if you're like a completely new learner and you're just kind of getting used to stuff and um, <clears throat> to teach you like very basic concepts about the games and to teach you how to get better at your first couple of Nuzlocke's, right? To kind of safely guide you through these Nuzlocke's. Just like Manscaped, the sponsor of today's video, guides you through your shaving with their Plow 2.0. Today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. Shout out to them. That's right, Manscaped is going beyond the cr <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do this line. It's so good though. That's right, Manscaped is going beyond the groin and into your face with the Plow 2.0. They got a single blade double edged safety razor with this product. It's really, really safe. Reduces skin irritations, reduces skin burns. It's fantastic, super easy to use. I really like how like weighty and high quality it feels. Great product. It also comes with this beautiful travel bag by Manscaped that I've actually been using. I went on vacation recently. I used this. I put all my stuff in there. It was great. Super stylish, super cool. So you get both of those. Love the Plow 2.0 by Manscaped and all their other great products. If you head down to the description or the comments uh, for my link and my code, you get 20% off. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it. And uh, let's get back into the Nuzlocke. We got uh, Trico, Torchic, or Mudkip here. Generally, my very general broad advice is to always pick the fire starter because fire types are very good and very rare. Water types are really good too, but water types are very common. And grass types are not that great and also common. Specifically for Gen 3, for Hoenn runs, Swampert is really, really good. Water ground is just an amazing typing and there's no grass gym leaders or grass elite four members or anything or evil team leaders that use grass types to speak of. Trico is also not that bad. You face a lot of water types in this game. The Trico line's very, very fast. All three starters are great here. I think Mudkip is probably the best. Let's see what he picks. So let me go find a die or something. So yeah, that I is also a way to do it. A lot of people do it with, based on your trainer ID number, but uh, yeah. I forgot to check it. So That's another way to do it. A lot of uh, people play their Nuzlocke that way, where they just randomly let their starter uh, get decided as if it were an encounter. I think that's a really cool way to do it, too. And my 12-sided die here. I'm going to go ahead and roll it. And basically, 1 through 4, I guess I'll get Trico, and then Torchic, and then Mudkip, and so on and so forth. So here we go. A 6. So that would be Torchic. All right, first uh, encounter. It's going to be like a worm pull or something. Yep, yep I good knew call. It. We got a worm pull. All right, go, Tardy. Trouble if I do. Ooh, okay, that's gonna have to do it. Sometimes I advocate for not attacking your very first encounter if it's like a level two Pokemon because your catch chance is just really high. You even get 10 Pokeballs in this game. So catching this on full HP is really, really likely. However, another thing to note is that we're playing Gen 6 and starting in Gen 6, critical hits are no longer double damage, but times 1.5 damage. So you're a little bit more lenient in what you can use on enemy Pokemon as well. I could really use a water type of some kind. <gasps> okay. Yes, okay, a low death. that will help me out a lot. Not terrible. Sure I'm not a huge fan of this encounter. By the time it gets useful, I guess like late game it's cool, but then you haven't really put any levels into it or anything. Um, it also just doesn't get a lot of good moves. Bing! We got him! I'm definitely doing the no duplicate clause, so... Okay, yeah, If I find a good. Pokemon that I already have, then we're not getting that one. A Zigzagoon, all right. Well, I, could use, I could use a normal, a normal type Pokemon, I guess. It's fine. All right, that should do it. Let's catch him. 
Yeah, Zigzagoon is pretty good. Um, you get Lanoon pretty early. It's decently strong. We caught Zigzagoon! Yahoo! Tail is obviously fantastic. Uh, we all know this. <clears throat> Us uh, professional Nuzlockers know this. Because it gets the guts ability. You could teach a facade. It's really broken. You can put like poison it before fights. We got him! Taylor was caught. XP share, yay! I think I am going to use that. I'm sort of making I'm sort of the logic the lo my logic is that I'm gonna use that, but I'm not gonna use the like fine Pokemon thing, which I feel like kind of ruins the point of a Nuzlocke if you're like yeah. choosing which po Pokemon you want. I mean, I don't know. So I agree. I think the deck snap is kinda stupid. I wouldn't use that in Nuzlocke. Um, and I think the XP share is good. The less grinding the better. I mean, Fair. I'm not too worried about this. I'm not too worried about it. She only has two guys. I honestly think Lol should be able to handle both of them just fine. Yeah, there we go. So I got rid of that potion. That was easy peasy. Usually I'm a bit more of a risk taker, but considering this is my first Nuzlocke, I don't want to go out on the first gym. All right, so we do see that he's playing on switch mode instead of set mode, which, you know what? As a beginner, I can see it. I can see as if you're just literally learning the game, it's probably a good idea. As you're learning your first Nuzlocke and you're kind of going through, the, obviously the most important thing to learn is just the type chart and then like understanding which Pokemon is what type. Uh, but, but these are things that just come like naturally as you play more, right? Okay, okay so we see an Encada encounter okay. here. Both Ninjask and Shedinja are actually really, really, really good, but they both require pretty advanced strategies. I would say they're like high skill cap Pokemon to use, I guess. Um, for a beginner, they're not actually that strong. Um, so I would recommend not using this Pokemon here. <laughs> but unironically, Shedinja is probably like one of the best non-legendary Pokemon you can get in any Nuzlocke ever. It's so ridiculously broken. So once you get to Dufrid, you can also get the Fishing Rod. And fish up your Magikarp, which you always want to do, because Gyarados is, like, the best Nuzlocke Pokemon ever. Get it up to level 20, and you'll have a good time. Too bad. No! Makui does not bad. Uh, Especially with Thick Fat. No! Well, that's just unfortunate, him. isn't it? Uh, who's here? Who's here? Who do we got? Who do we got? What the? Not bad. Electrite? What is that? That's freaking awesome! Electric, pretty good. Manic Trick uh, gets Intimidate, which is the best ability in the game. Decently fast. It's got electric type moves to zap uh, flying and water types. It's pretty okay. Don't die. You've done it so many times. Just take a big hit and then get a quick attack in. Thunder You're definitely punch. dead to crit. No! 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 Yeah, right. Even crit. Manatite no! does a lot of damage. It's got the huge power ability. No! Frank! Yeah, I think just staying in there. And just attacking one more time and risking the crit. Like, some, I, I always preach about playing around the crit, but I, I don't think the electric would have been faster here, and it probably would have just taken too much damage. Um, the Zigzagoon probably got two shot as well, because it's only level 15. Hey, just headbutt him. You can do this, Zigzagoon! You can do this! No! Don't nope. die the You live you live one. You live yes! one. Zigzagoon! He's so engaged. Zigzagoon! I love it. Yes! I'm afraid of everything. I'm living my life in fear. Yeah, Watson's a really big run killer, and honestly, his team is really trash. He's actually got the Ninkata, which is interesting. Even though this Ninkata is pretty shit, like, it's not gonna do anything. It, only by the fact that it is a ground type, it is a good bring here. Combuskin is currently baiting, like, a Shockwave or something from the enemy, let's say Magneton, right? Let's say Magneton has Shockwave and Sonic Boom. I think that's something that happens, right? Shockwave does more damage than Sonic Boom, uh, let's say hypothetically, right? And you want to make the switch to Lanoon. What you can do is switch to your Ninkata, absorb the incoming Shockwave, bait the enemy into using Sonic Boom instead, and then switch in your Lanoon, having taken effectively less damage because you made the pivot. That's the basics of how pivoting works. That's why bringing Ninkata is actually a really good idea here. It's another thing worth noting here, for especially a fight like this where you know that you're going to get paralyzed on like an electric type gym leader, gym leader, you probably have a cherry berry lying around somewhere that you picked up. Equip those. They're really good. So it seems like he's not using any items in battle, which makes these fights a lot more fun and a lot more interesting to analyze because whenever I review people who are doing Nuzlocke that use items in battle, my default position is just like always like, oh yeah, he should have had more potions for this fight and he should have just heal spammed. I don't know if flame charge is correct here or if I would double kick for just damage. Just get straight to it. Flame charge, Tardy. Come on. Uh, really? Fuse. Great. Pretty annoying. Oh no, that's going to be annoying. I can't, I can't afford that. Mudsport only has... 
It kind of sucks because supersonic is so inaccurate. So I'm actually hitting one. It's <laughs> really annoying. You could just switch um, and just take another hit for it, but then you might get supersonic again. You can do that until he misses. But honestly, sometimes it's kind of hard to decide if switching is better or staying in and just hitting through the confusion is better. It really depends on the situation here. I think I would say just switching to Ninkata once and switching back is probably better because he's probably going to be magnet bombing the Ninkata. So we won't be taking a lot of damage switching back in. So healing of the confusion is basically free. Turns left. I'm sitting here hitting myself in the face. Okay. Well, at least if I can get this flame charge move on this Magnemite, I think he might die. I think he definitely might die. I hit myself with confusion again. Yeah, like this is like oh, the you've downside gotta be of kidding it. Me. This would be so easy. Okay, he snapped out of it. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, yes, super effective. And he's down. Speed rose too, so that's good. This could be ugly. I honestly don't even know if Tardy can take another hit. Yeah, this is really rough. No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure he's dead, right? No, 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 yeah. no, Tardy! It's kind of tough. That additional flame charge damage is so important there. I, I think the biggest mistake, he took he took two confusion self hits that he didn't need to take. So if he would have healed that with a switch instead, um, that probably would have saved him his starter here. Yes, nice. I don't think it's going to do anything, but... This might kill. On. Oh, oh close. wow. Very close. Very close. Absorbable. Finish him off. Just do it. Uh, what is that? Is that an electric tape move? Okay, well, that's fine. That was a critical hit, even. As long as I don't get confused. Yes! Oh, What's with the AI in this game? Why did he magnet bomb there? Volt switch is more damage. I mean, honestly, I'm always kind of excited when people's starters die in Nuzlocke because it makes the run a lot more interesting and it leaves a lot more space for other Pokemon to shine. I like it. I got an Aether! What they could... Oh, a Pokemon. I didn't know that could happen. I guess I get a Geodude. Now I just have to not kill him. I probably shouldn't use... Zigzam. That's weird to say, but Zigzam is like one of my most powerful Pokemon. Heading, headbutting I this really is fine. Can't mess this up, it does though. resist. I really can't. It's got a lot yeah. of defense. What just happened? Magnitude. That doesn't sound good. Whoa, that's that's rough. Still only super effective. I mean, it's super effective, and it still only did that much. Um. Oh, is he getting baited here? This up. Magnitude seven. Okay. Yeah, this, this is, is gonna do a lot of damage, buddy. Oh, jeez! What? No! Yeah. Elmo died! He got crit too. Are you kidding me? He got baited by magnitude doing not a lot of damage there, but he could have also just rolled that like high damage magnitude on the switch and he would have lost it immediately. Come on. Okay. Whoopty freaking do traded one Pokemon for another one. Alright. I don't think I've Roselia ever is also 17. not a great encounter. <laughs> I don't really know anything about Rosalie. I don't even, I don't know if it's common or not, but. Yeah, Pokemon! All right, chill oh, out, please. Jesus Christ, team. man. Fire Pokemon? Oh yeah, one of these guys. Okay, Numidal. I'm gonna name him Camel if I man, catch him. Man, he looks do you guys like ever notice how Gen 3 has so many dog shit encounters? <laughs> Is it just me? I caught a Camel! Oh, you're dead as fuck, bro. <laughs> Yeah, so Geodude, Rock Ground type, four times a week to both grass and water, which if you just don't know a lot about the games, if this is your first playthrough, totally understandable that you don't know that. Which is why Geodude is like a medium skill cap. Like you you it's not good if you if it's your first like Pokemon playthrough ever. For 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 Nuzlocke and if you're doing blind stuff. Oh, it's a drunk bear! Okay, go <laughs> Rupto, let's catch drunk. That is what Spinda that is what Spinda, Spinda is. It's a panda. We got him! I think using normal types is probably a good thing here. Um, the only thing you have to avoid is fighting types. I was looking at a meme on Twitter. Oh damn, he got fucking owned. Yeah, Holy shit. Yeah, Roselia's oh, defense no is not way. good. And he's... Just some yeah. random Gyarados. <laughs> yeah, Gyarados is For a lot of attack, trainer, buddy. It just, how did that do so much damage? It's thrashing, right? I could just go with Absorb. It might You're, I'm pretty sure you're slower and you just die, right? A little bit. Oh, come on. At least attack first. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm gonna lose the game. I'm gonna lose the game. This is a tough situation, man. I'm not really sure what I would have done here. <laughs> it's just like you're under. The only way you get out of this is if he hits himself in confusion a bunch. Do? Oh, thank you. He hit himself. That might have saved my life. I think it did. Okay. It's gonna be a magic carp. Who is it? Who is it? Somebody good, please. It can uh, only ever be magic carp, which is the best Pokemon in the game. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! 
Not knowing the type chart is what costs us a Pokemon here. Not much more analysis to do. I'm a chop. Or Archie, I guess. Cool. Yay! I caught it. <sighs> my chop's not great. I'm sorry. She's lava plume, I guess. I don't know what this is. Oh! What the fuck? Yeah, no! Wait, what did it use? Critical hit! I wasn't expecting that to die yeah! at all. Plume, I guess. I don't know what this is. Oh, is it slash? Okay. Oh! Yeah, no! Jesus. Critical hit! I really wasn't expecting that. That was out of nowhere. I guess he's got level disadvantage and Numble also just kind of sucks. Oh man, all my Pokemon that I've lost right now are like flashing through my head. Wallop. Worm poo. Elmo. Camel. He's got a Some Gyarados. He'll be fine. Bite could make him flinch though. I feel like Bite can also crit. So Bite can also proc Flame Body here, right? And burn him. Flinch him! Oh wow, that did pretty good anyway. Yeah. I, oh, I burned myself. That's not good. <sighs> So, like, Dragon Rage is actually really good against Torkoal here. Torkoal has really high defense, but its base HP is kind of whatever. So, dr since Dragon Rage doesn't care about how much defense you have, it just always deals 40. It's actually quite a good move here. Better than a lot of Water-type moves would be here, too, because the sun is up and everything. Um, especially with him being burned, because burn halves your attack, right? You never, ever, ever want to bite here. You always want to click Dragon Rage, no matter what. Bite him. Why not? I'm already burned anyway. Bite yeah, that's, oh. yeah, that's literally going to do no oh. damage. At least he flinched. Dragon Rage, just do as much damage as possible, Maginator. Oh, there we go. Should have done that in the first place. Dragon Rage. Do you die to burn? I hope he doesn't die to the burn. I really do. I don't think so you die to it. We're doing okay here. Maginator, please don't die. Save Especially with oh, a level okay, up. Two health. He would have been done to it, but I think the level up saved him here. Die. Yes, yeah, level up saved him. No, this He's is taking not a lot of damage, too. Is no, that no. Vital throw. Oh no. Oh uh, yeah, he's oh, no. fucking dead. <laughs> I just love the like the sound, the red screen, and the music <laughs> on the death that we were all literally expecting. I'm just gonna name him useless. I'm feeling I'm feeling like he's gonna be pretty useless. Useless. We'll see about that. Very creative name, I know. Seems like a self-fulfilling prophecy to me, because if you think a Pokemon's useless, you never use it and never gets any XP, and then uh, you never get to see its full potential. Kind of sad. Ninjask. Okay. So you learned three new moves. Am I going to get a Pokemon now, too? I did. It didn't even say any anything about it. What is this? Shed it. Sh Wait. Shedinja. I'm really confused. Read the letters. Oh, oh, oh yeah, okay. Okay, so the question is... Is he going to be able to use this Pokemon to great effect? Because Shedinja is fucking broken. I personally don't use it. I think it's busted. But it's only busted with complete information. With incomplete information, it becomes pretty fucking trash. Do I, do I actually get this guy? Yes! Is he going to use yes, it? Finally, He's probably going to use it, good. isn't he? I have a new Pokemon! All right. Uh, you know what? He gets to use this. Whatever. Oh. Wait, what? No, Why that's did he keep? No! That's just no! unfortunate, isn't it, chat? That was that was going to be the that was my hope for this fight. That was going to completely take out her Alteria. Oh, he even planned. True, Shedinja does even wall the Altaria. He had a plan with it too. He was using it really well. He just didn't know about the move pursuit. Oh, I'm pronouncing it like Altaria from now on. That's way cooler. Do I have to fight them both at the same time? I actually don't know. I didn't really think about that when I was putting my Pokemon out. I should have, or rather ordering them. I should have thought about that, but I didn't. Are we doing double, double battle here? I actually am kind of nervous. Dude, I really wish they had the Emerald team. The Emerald Tate and Liza team is actually so fun to fight. There's so many like cheesy things you can do, and it's generally like a really good test of skill. Just straight up the Lunatone Soul Rock is so boring. Okay, so I think leaving the Gloom in against the two Psychic types here... I would probably label that as a mistake. Okay, that's not good. You're dead, right? Oh! Yep. oh no! Dude, the sound effect and the fucking music and the screen effect is just so fucking funny to me. I'm sorry. What was that movie you just used? It was a psychic move, I guess? Psychic is not strong against grass. It's strong against poison, though. It is, yeah. He's what? learning the type chart. Dude, he's doing this. I'm actually really liking this. Um, it's pretty subtle. We don't notice it throughout the cuts, but he's. I feel like he's learning a lot between fights here. 
Um, and when he loses something, and this is something I noticed, when he loses a Pokemon, he's very analytical about it. You can tell that he's a fucking gamer, boys, okay? He will be like, why'd I lose that? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. He's not gonna just blame the game on and blame the game for being bullshit. He's not gonna pull a DSP, okay? I think that's really cool. So he didn't know it was a double battle, so Gloom was just ended up being in the second slot. If you're playing a game blind and you don't know if a double battle or a single battle is coming up, which I've been in situations like that, make sure the two first slots of your team are always Pokemon that you'd want to lead with in a double battle. Well, finally oh, gets wait, the gold battle encounter. I just realized this is a new area and I got a gold bat! Nice. <laughs> I want him! I want him! Yes! I mean, useless is pretty great. I'm just like killing Pokemon like five levels higher than him. And it's not even that big of a deal. I'm hopefully I'm not gonna eat my words there, but so far, no problems. You are the last token resistance that is trying to ruin my day. So now I will use this gun to shoot you. <laughs> Probably should have done that a while ago. <laughs> Fade to black, funny. it's over. Aw oh, man, I'm having flashbacks. I this think you man, just double edge. I just edge. caught you in a forest. You were just a small little, small little guy in the forest, and now you're fighting a mega evolved Sharpedo. I think you can do it, I believe in you. Slash! Crunch, that doesn't sound good. Ah. Uh, what? No! Really? <laughs> Why did I believe in you? That kills with a non crit? I actually was not expecting that. I guess strong jaw is a pretty good ability, huh? Ba da ba ba da bum. You! Why did I believe in you, Thick Tim? Oh no! Go be you, Venoshock, please! I want you to Venoshock him now! Splooge your purple goo on him! What is. Good job, what is, what is he okay, doing so impression of? What the fuck is happening? Gym battle there. And Jesus then, Christ. He didn't even kill anybody. <laughs> So he's confused, I'm gonna burn him. This is a pretty good strategy, it seems like. He's oh, fucked, no. no, he's dead to crit. And it's one in eight oh, to crit. No. Oh, Ooh, geez. he's dead to burn, yeah. Please don't, please don't burn, don't affect me. Please let me get him out. Please let me get him no, out. No, he's, he's, you're please gonna take, get him out. you're gonna take burn damage. Burn. You're literally dead, there's nothing no. you can do. <laughs> oh. Blue! Oh, look at me, I can, my elbows stick up on my head. Damn, yeah, he that's got a real him thing good. That that would... Oh, cool. Pretty good. A Larion. Agron is not terrible. Well, I want this guy. Okay. It's kind of hard to use, though. So I've been spending at least the last two days preparing for this, both leveling and okay. trying to get items and All right. stuff I needed. All right, I outlevel this guy a lot, so it's really not that big of a deal. A chance. He's, super yeah, he's got fast, Excisor as well. He's first. also got double oh, no, team baton pass, well, which is I respect that. I respect the I fuck out of that. Hell yeah. That is so but cheesy. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> it's pretty crazy how he came back in this run. He had like he he was down like three Pokemon on Norman. <laughs> I guess Latias will help, huh? And so will Gyarados. Those Pokemon are pretty good. But the fact that he has like a pretty strong six Pokemon team all the way in the Elite Four in his first ever Nuzlocke in a po in a game that he's playing blind is pretty impressive. Okay. First Elite Four member down. Very All nice. right. All right. Psychic. Look at him go. He should die. We have this. Okay, we got it. Okay, two down. All right. Is this the end? Is this the end of Peebers and crew? This, <clears throat> this does seem like the scariest fight for him. So, like, what I'm thinking here, right, is, like, your tentacle is, like, your only good answer against the wall rain. I would use the Pokemon that get fucked by the wall rain here on the Glalies. So, I would use Agron here specifically for the Glalies. I thought he would well, I don't know if he's have Earthquake. Yeah, they don't. What does that they do? Don't. Okay, Willrian. Oh, that's it. It's her best type. That's her best guy. <laughs> that's I'm such, gonna a, send that's out... such a good name. Um, I'm going to pronounce Lars. it like that from now on. Steel type. Willrian. Maybe I can one shot him. Okay, Lars. Yeah, let's I don't do know this. about do this, this one. Me. I don't know about this All right, one. So, well, Walrian. If anything, you want a rock um, slide because water resists use... steel. Okay, well. Doesn't resist rock. I has a bad hit ratio, but I'm going to go for it anyway. It's like 75% chance, I think. Oh wait, isn't he ground? So he's bad again. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> so about I that. The water type? I forgot he was ice water. No, Lars. I can't make it all this way and lose. Tentacruel, no, baby. Tentacruel. No, this Tentacruel. isn't gonna happen. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Imaginator time. could probably take a hit. Just crunch. I'm gonna crunch. Maybe it'll make him flinch or something. Blizzard. No, no. Of course he. Oh, oh well. It didn't. Actually, it didn't. It wasn't super effective. I would have thought it would have been. Yeah, water resistance. did a decent it. amount of damage, though. And she's going to use her healing items on this guy, too. 
Crumpet's Blizzard fun. again. Oh no. Oh no. This is it, you guys. This is it. He got crit and frozen. Head, frozen. No. Oh, that's so unlucky. This is it. Just go to Tentacruel, man. This you can is do it. it. Useless. Yes. Yes. Go. Yes. I can't All right. Wait. Okay, I, was gonna, I thought I was gonna say he couldn't switch out because he was frozen. All right. Oh, and if I lose Maginator, I'm so dead to the rest of this. All right. Thing, and he avoids the Blizzard because Hail subsided. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, lucked out there. Now you're uh, just Sludge Wave. Sludge Wave. Yeah, yeah. Poison him. Okay. Didn't poison him. Come on, die, 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 die! This should kill. Nice, nice. Yes. Nice. Oh yes. Okay. All right, okay, I thought it was so screwed, but this is looking up now. This is looking up. Okay, well, the only problem is I Dude, don't really have a lot so of strong. health left. Yes! That's pretty impressive. Yes! Oh, man, how did we how did we get out with our, with our lives there? Oh, man, Lars is gone, though. That was a big mistake on my part. I now only have five Pokemon left for the rest of this run. Three down, one more to go. Let's do it, Drake. Your first Pokemon is a wash. I mean, I'm just gonna one-shot him. He's much higher. He's higher level. Well, I'd say much. He's higher level than the rest of the guys. Um, so it'll it'll be a little more difficult. But I think I, I feel better about this one than I did the last one. I definitely don't want to get cocky though. Ice Fang. Yeah, he's got Ice Fang on will, um, Gyarados, which is huge. What did that do? This is fine. It's gonna make it a two KO. Defense, but... well, Ice Fang. Okay, well, at least one's down. One's down. Nice. Took a hit. The problem here is, right, he's going to get intimidated, so Ice Fang's probably not going to one-shot. Salamence does a lot of damage. I, at least I'm pretty sure that's why it's not doing that much. Let's try it anyways. He, uh, he can attack. Oh, he has Thunder Move? He's fucked. No! No, 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 no! I didn't know Salamence had Thunder Fang no! here. That's huge. Uh, maybe I can recover, and that'll save me. I don't know. Psychic. Yeah, you really want to use the dragon move there, buddy. Oh no, boys. Okay, that did a decent amount of damage. Okay, at least he didn't use thunder. Dude, dragon pulse would have killed. That doesn't look good, though. Oh no! He Six lives. Left. Yes, okay. Well, at least we got this guy down. Oh, give me a break. Okay, I'm going to use poison fang. I'm doing it. It's Hopefully this isn't a bad idea. Please poison him. I need some luck. I really oh, I would like much. to see the acrobatics there, but either. it's fun. He used yawn. Of course he would have some annoying move like yawn. Oh, he used Yawn again. Love of the double Yawn. Though, so it doesn't matter. That's an AI classic right there. Uh, I'm just gonna. Gotta watch out I for that shit. Out and hope he wakes up. What do you use? Oh, he has an Ice Beam. You're fine. No, no, You're fine please don't. Ish. Okay, good, nice. good. Critical hit. Just what I needed. If we if we knew that this was Earthquake, the mogul move is to actually switch to Latias, outspeed and kill with Dragon Pulse. I don't know if you can do that, but. So let's just, just just ride Hydro Pump. We have five moves. We have five hits for it, or five uses. Okay, I think that's a good. I think that was a good idea. Also, he missed me somehow. I didn't really see how that happened, but he missed me. All right, we got him. We got him. We got him. And the next one is another Flygon, I think. So if I can just do that again, Hydro Pump. Oh, he avoided it. Okay, that's fine though. Ow! What does that do? It didn't do that much. Okay, Hydro Pump one more time. He avoided it again. Oh All my right, god. Let's try. Out of Hydro Pumps. Let's just dive. Can that even miss? I don't know that if it can. Fine here. It can, so I'm gonna dive. For some reason, I'm thinking it can't, but I might be wrong. Alright, we did it. We did it. Okay. Alright. Drake down. I think he's gonna be okay. If he hits his Hydro Pumps, I think he wins. Okay, guys, I'm so nervous. I okay, real shit for this fight. Double team up on the on the Skarmory with your Ninjask or, so, or something, or maybe on the next Pokemon after. Double team up, speed boost up, but Tom pass that shit to Tentacruel. I don't want to lose all my friends. All my friends are gonna die. No, we can do this. I don't see the Hydra Hydra. Bomb, we can do this. Oh, I avoided he it, of course. Missed. Spikes is not that scary spikes. here. The only thing that takes Luckily, Spikes damage is Tentacruel. Luckily, I think most of my Pokemon left are flying, so I don't know if that matters to them. A Hydra Pump! Oh, come on. Really? Two misses? I know it doesn't have a great hit chance, but still. Hydra Pump. I think that's the first time I've seen Thank a miss, you. yeah. Okay, hopefully this does some decent damage. Not bad. Yeah, okay, okay. 
All right, I'm gonna hydro pump him one more time and hope he goes down. Oh, he's used up like all his hydro pumps. He has hex for Metagross still, which yeah, is still okay, decent I damage. Almost wish but I hadn't killed him actually. I almost wish he had used his healing item on that guy. But whatever, we'll take what we can get here. Agron, okay, rock steel, rock steel. He has an earthquake though. He has an earthquake. I'm glad I noticed that because I what think that's a ground move here? is good against poison. But hydro pump should be good against. I guess you just click Hydro okay, so Pump, oh, that's your only out. Take. You gotta click and Hydro I Pump. I need for the Mega Tragras guy. Just keep, just keep battling. I'll send, I'll send, oh, how about this? How about this, how about this? I'll use my last Hydro Pump here. All right, hit it. <sighs> yeah. Sturdy. It, oh, oh, sturdy, of course. Sturdy. Earthquake, no, this is what I was worried He's about. He's fine. He's not going to die to this. No. Yeah. Oh, okay, he's alive. Okay. Oh, you know what? You know what? Dive. Oh, of course he full restored. Oh, uh, this is um, so cringe. I'm gonna die. Oh, guys. Under the water. Dude, how the fuck does he win there. this? There's no fucking way. Uh, is he gonna? Okay. He loses tentacle right. here. He killed me. How does he get past this? Um, There's no fucking yeah. chance. No. He killed me. <laughs> that, that sucked. Useless. Oh no. You need to break the sturdy first and then hydro uh, pump. Okay. At least so, like, I got one of his full restores out, I guess. Both psychic and dragon are, good, are bad against Is he going to mega now for the first time? But my other guys are going to die, so I might as well just do it. Psychic. Yeah. Am I going to mega evolve? Okay, yeah, he's doing it. He's doing it. Okay. I was kind of nervous there. Do I get to attack too? Yeah, you do. Please say Why I didn't he Mega also. ever before? That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Yes! I guess this okay. is good damage. It's probably not going to do that much, though. No, it's fine. Wow! I was mixed. Kill. Okay, crit, oh, critical crit. hit! Yeah. Oh, my... Oh, wow. LaFonda. Oh, he yes. only wanted to win his opponent did. Armando. Got it. Armando! Um, Crobat Armando. here. Is Crobat. He, is he called I think Armando? Is the, because he's an armadillo and he has arms sticking out. What a great name, Armaldo. Psychic is uh, bug he's is not good an against psychic, <laughs> I guess you just stay in psychic. Yeah. Huh? All right. I don't know if this even has Mega a good bug evolution. move. Evolution. I'm feeling it. Yeah, it does. Uh, of course, he's gonna use X Scissor though. He's fine. Oh no. You're bulky. Okay. You're bulky. Okay. You also have recover. Okay. okay. I'm gonna use psychic. He might. I need to recover. Yeah, but I'll do. attack first, so I'll either kill him or he'll full restore. Yeah, I kill it first. I got him. I got for him. Sure. Okay. 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 We're doing this. He really he wants to do a cradle first here so we can recover up. Out, though. So it's not yeah, over cradle. yet. Clay doll. It's just saying. Also ground psychic. I would just say. I got to keep battling. I got to. Yeah. I have to. I need to. Re I need to restore anyways. Yeah. Maybe recover here and then switch to ninja. Either Seems B pretty good. or Nimnat will have their chance to shine against. I guess. This seems like a decent opportunity to set up some double teams. Like. Ideally, ideal situation, right? You have double teams set up when the Metagross comes out because you don't want to set it up on Metagross, so you probably want to take that opportunity now. I think that's your best out right now. You know what I got to do? Desperate times come for desperate measures here. Nimnat, go. I have a plan. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it. What does that do? Off to a good start. Oh! Okay, well, double team. I'm going to double team a bunch. Hopefully, I can okay. double team enough times and not die. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Do it again. Speed boost. I would. I would just baton pass the Latias now. I can baton pass. Yep. I would I'm just do it now. It's too risky I'm do otherwise. It two, one more time after this. Just take the plus one. Okay. Good. He reflected okay. Too. That's fine too. I would. I would okay, definitely okay. pass now. You're dead to the next extra sensory. You Speed have to. Speed boost up. All right. All you right, have to pass right, now. Nimnet. Double team one more time. Please work. Please work. Don't kill me. This don't is a kill throw. Me. This is a throw, no, dude. I it last time. I no. My oh, he lives. What? He's the alive. damage roll. Oh. Unbelievable. Baton pass. Okay, now you fucking Baton pass. pass. Yeah, good shit. Good Baton shit. Baton pass. If for those of you guys who don't know, this this transfers all his stats that I just got dude. to the next guy that I throw out. How hype. Oh, think, think here, think. Okay, Psychic is good against Poison. No, you need to go to your Latias. Maybe I'll dodge everything. You I need to go really to your Latias, bro. And really high dodge chance. I can use X-Scissor. 
which is good against Psychic. <laughs> no, please go to the lot of yours for fuck's Rock, sake. So it will be super effective. No. Please use no. all that dodging ability that, that Nimnat just gave you. you or can't, not. You could just. Or not. Or just take a hit. It's fine. <laughs> you can't use, use this scissor. against the fucking Metagross. This will be super effective. I'm sure of it. Still, uh, he has a reflect defense. still. This makes X Scissor kills because the reflect is gone. X Scissor! Kill him! This is good content, I will say. Uh, yes! Dodge it, dodge it. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, okay. Man. Okay. Okay. Can I use poison? Oh, he got okay. me. He got me. He got me. I'm dead. You're not dead. You're still alive. Off. Still kicking. No Omni still Boost? Kicking. Okay. X Scissor! Okay, good. That's fine. That's fine. You I really gotta, don't want B and Nimnat to die. You gotta stay in, dude. It's a Pokemon listen. It's a possible. listen. It's the champion fight. There's no more fights after this. Winning with one Pokemon is just as good as winning with three. Stay in until you die here, and then maybe even try to set up with Ninjask on Metagross, um, and then use your Latias last. You know what? I might as well just keep rolling with it. Yep. Correct. Uh, I might as well just keep rolling yep. with it. X is Correct. A... Come on, B. All right. All right. Come on, B. Yep. Yes! Very nice. X scissor! Yes! B and Nimnet! All right, all right, all right, all right. I would have... Okay, so that's just straight up a misplay. <laughs> you had the double team set up there. Stay in. Why not? Why, literally, why not stay in there? Not oh, he's again. got Giga Impact. He's fine. What a terrible move. Oh no, oh no, oh Who no. Is that? Now just oh, recover. No. Literally just restore. recover. I've got to rest I've got to recover. Just recover. If we just keep trading blows like this, I'll win. Yep. Okay, yeah, Giga Impact again. I don't care. Just don't crit me and I'm fine. Yep. Dragon Pulse. Are we going to win this, guys? Are we going to win this? You are going to win are this. Are we going to win this? Dragon Pulse! That's insane. I'm putting my DS down. Just... Okay, just as long as he doesn't crit. Right? Yep, you yes! win. Yes! Yes! Go Dragon Balls! Dragon Balls! Ah! Oh, he's not dead! I thought he was dead! Dude, the sounds okay, coming fine, out of his fine. mouth <laughs> are so recover. funny. Recover. I could have so, just like... Oh, yeah, no, if you recover. know that he's Don't out of full restores there, Dragon Pulse is the correct move because now you're risking another crit. Don't die! Don't die! No, he quit me! Punished! He Actually me. punished, but he's he fine. He can crit. finish this with Crobat. Oh, God, no! Actually punished. It doesn't... This oh. doesn't have bullet punch, does it? Yes! 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 Oh, yes! I beat him! I can't believe it! Oh. Wow. Unbelievable. With Tube, with B, and Nimnat left! I unironically did not see this coming. I really didn't think he could win, but it's because I forgot that the fucking Metagross had Giga Impact. <laughs> that was the um, Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke by Peanut Butter Gamer. Um, great. Honestly, I really enjoyed seeing him learn the game as he went on. That was really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. It was really cool to see that kind of progression in someone. Seeing someone play a game for the first time. Or like this, pretty exciting. He did really well. Uh, excited to see more of his stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure to hit subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment. Goodbye. Brrr.